Uh, Mel, uh, frustrating weekend, uh, no fixture Saturday just gone, but good opportunity for you to catch up on your box sets. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, I don't watch many box sets. Um, it gave me a good opportunity to catch up on some paperwork and gave me a good opportunity to catch up on, you know, this week's opposition and uh, next week's opposition. We've got a lot of games coming up, so we use the time well. Um, we started to make a plan of how we're going to work this week and next week. And, yeah, we put that into place. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was a nice to have a Saturday break, if that makes any sense, but it was a break where we could organise and get ourselves sorted for what's now going to be, a, you know, 20 big, big games. Uh, and how's the squad looking for Saturday? Yeah, they're fine. I mean, we've got, we played a practice match on um, Tuesday night against uh, Ashford and uh, everyone, everyone played some minutes, so everyone is available. Um, so yeah, so for the first time I'll have, a, I'll have a look at the bench and, you know, I've got, I've got three or four players who, who may miss out. So it's, uh, it's, it's a high quality problem um, in terms of it's far better than recently we've, where we've had no no one on the bench and without bringing youngsters in and stuff to, to fill the bench so it's um when everyone's fit it, ge it gives me a, a problem um but i call it a high quality problem um and for the players themselves it, it's educating them and understanding that just because you don't feature this week well, what doesn't mean you won't feature in the next six after this or or whatever there's no who knows on injuries results whatever so every day is different every game is different every training session is different so um, yeah, it, the squad's looking good. We've got a few, you know, a lot of players available to me. So, um, yeah, I can uh, pretty much pick whatever I want. And new signing played on Tuesday? Yeah, so Tope, we bought Tope in. Um, front line, I've got Ben and I've got Mason, who are sort of out and out strikers. Um, I've got numerous players then who can play behind the, the main striker. Um, but I, I felt I needed someone who, who just would add a little bit to those two and give me an option to rest the Bens and the Masons when I need to, um, or to even play all three together. So bringing him in just strengthens us a little bit of the squad. He's a very good player, and really nice lad, um, and I think he'll do very, very well. Uh, and you mentioned that he's a nice lad. He fits in with the group nicely? Yeah, he does, yeah. I, I've mentioned this before. Before every, every, get, every time I sign a player, I interview them. You know, I think that's a little bit odd in football that you actually sit there and have a coffee. We, we, we talk football, but we just, we just have a chat and an interview. Um, on this occasion, I sat down with him. I took Rob and... Um, uh, James Connolly with me just simply because he's a young bloke I'm an old man so it's probably just nice for him to have a chat with a, a couple of lads who are a little bit more near his age so we went we had a chat with him um, after a long phone call I'd had with him and yeah he, he's, he'll fit us and it's important to me that I don't sign anybody unless I know they're going to fit the group and fit what we want going forward as, as a squad we're a young team you know the average age of our squad is only about 23 just over 23 so we're a very young team and it's really really important the environment is um, balanced and uh, well maintained um, and, in, and a learning environment for them so yeah he, he's a good lad and he fits in well and you know who knows you know everyone I sign I always like to think that if it all goes well it could become a permanent um, but you know he's Sutton's player and uh, they'll make that decision whether, whether he's available or not and he will also look at us and make his decision whether he likes us or not. So Rob helps in that department, does he, with his experience? Yeah, Rob does. Rob's got a lot of contacts in the game. Um, and the reason I bought him in, when I bought him in and signed him, you know, I, I was very open with him and said, look, you'll come and play some games, but ultimately I want you in to help me with, with the development of the younger players. You know, it's, again, it's really important that the environment I create is a development environment. And to that, it's not just, it's not just what I do, it's what people do around me and the players I bring in. Players who want to transition into coaching at some point, and Rob's still only 30 years old, got you know a long, long time left to play. Um, but ultimately, he wants to transition into coaching, so he's learning. Um, but he's very, very good with the younger players, and he helps the younger players. Um, and of course, he's got all the experience that they'll look up to. If I talk about players I played with or, or knew from my day, they wouldn't even have a clue who they are. At least when Rob mentions players, he probably heard these younger lads who still have heard of them. So it helps. It helps a lot. So him and uh, comms are, are very, very important to me. What can we expect on Saturday against Chelmsford? A really good game. I mean, if you look at the stats, we're both very, very good stats. I mean, I know we've only played 10 home games, but our, our home form is one of the best in the league. Their away form is one of the best in the league. So it's, it's going to be a really, really good game. Obviously, I'm very good friends with the manager, Rob. Um, his team's been well organised. They'll work hard. He'll have a plan for us. We'll have a plan for him. And, you know, it's up to then our players to execute it on the pitch. You know, we, we can give advice, but ultimately it'll be how his players do and our players do. It'll be a very, very good game. It's one we're looking forward to. 
Um, last year we played them a similar sort of time. We were bottom four, bottom five, trying to get a relegation. They were going for the playoffs. It's lovely to be in this position this year when it's a game where both teams are trying to get into the playoffs. Um, and I've said it before, I think if we finish above them at the end of the season, we'll be in the playoffs because they're a good team.